So next is uh, decimal to hexadecimal conversion. So for this again, uh, I told the rules now. So if you want to convert a decimal to binary, keep on divide by two. Decimal to octal, divide decimal number by eight. Keep on divide eight, divide by eight until you will get less than eight. So in the hexadecimal, you have to keep on divide by sixteen. Hexadecimal means six plus decimal ten. Sixteen you have to divide by. Okay, so until you will get quotient less than sixteen. So take the number. So for this, I think first I'll tell the conversion, direct conversion using calculator. So in the decimal mode, go to decimal mode. So I'll repeat once again those missed. So go to base end, which is uh, mode four. So in the decimal, type seven zero eight four seven zero eight four. So decimal number is seven zero eight four. I want conversion from this to uh, octal means you'll get one five six five four. Hexadecimal means one B A C. See here one B A C. Similarly, binary equivalent is this one one zero one 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 zero one zero 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 one one zero zero. So hexadecimal answer is one B A C. How we got this answer? So step wise is seven. So for this, I'll go to mode one. Uh, you can have if you divide by R option is there in your calculator. Majority in hold, I think in one model it is available. Divide by R. Uh, normally, if it is not available, one more method I will tell you. Okay. So seven zero eight six you take seven zero eight four divide by uh, you can uh, alpha. This this is divide by R. Okay. Divide by R. And that means it will give quotient as well as remainder. So divide by R sixteen. So it will give you. 442 remainder is 12. 442 remainder is 12. So 12 means in a uh, in a uh, hexadecimal system. 12 means uh, it is capital C. And uh, where is the table? Yeah, you should remember that table. So twelve means see here twelve means see actually hexadecimal and decimal you have to see see this is decimal this is hexadecimal zero same as zero one is same two two three three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten. Ten means capital A. Eleven means B. C means twelve. Twelve in uh, decimal is uh, in the hexadecimal. You can represent with C. Thirteen in uh, decimal you can represent with D. Fourteen with E. Fifteen with F. So now we got twelve. So you have to write C. Okay. So remainder is twelve. So you have to write C there. Now don't write one two. Okay. Next, you take uh, only four forty two divided by R again sixteen. It will give you twenty seven one zero. Again, it is a combination of zero and one. So capital A you have to write for this A. Zero to nine is same. Ten is capital A. So write capital A. Again twenty six twenty seven you have to divide by divide R by sixteen. Will give you. One remainder is one, so one. See, ten is A, eleven is B. Remainder eleven is B. So this is I'm telling once again. Only one or two models are having divided by R. If in the new calculator, if it is not there, uh, you can do like this: seven zero eight four divided by sixteen. It will give you four forty two. Point seven five four forty two. You have to write here and point seven five. Okay, uh, you have to convert it to here means you have to take only point seven five. So subtract four forty two. You get only four forty. Sorry, point seven five. This you have to multiply with sixteen. So this will give you twelve. Twelve means C. 
again 442 divided by 16 gives you 27 point so write 27 uh, 0.625 we have to take and so 0.625 i want so i don't want 27 so delete 27 subtract it we'll get only 0.625 multiplied by 16 will give you 10 10 means capital a i can take 27 divided by 16 gives you one point something so one you write here and multiply only this fraction with 16 so minus 1 will get uh, the fraction part multiplied by 16 will give you 11 so 11 means b so we have to write here 1 b a c better you have to use this for full number use this 7 0 8 4 at least you will get this answer as correct so in the hexadecimal it is 1 b a c so this part we got now for the fraction part you have to take fraction and multiply it by 16 if you want to convert it to binary decimal fraction multiplied by 2 if you want to convert fraction part into octal take a decimal fraction multiplied by 8 if you want to convert it to hexadecimal take fraction part for this you have to go to mode 1 so 0.95 multiplied by 16 you are going to get 15.2 so 15 you have to write here this is downwards 15 means don't write 1 5 it is a combination of two digits 1 and 5 so you have to write unique representation in hexadecimal 15 is capital capital f 15 means unique representation is f only so you have to write f here next to take only fraction 0 0.2 0.2 into 16 is 3.2 so write uh, 3 take fraction 0 0.2 multiplied by 2 16 it is 3.2 so it is keep on repeating 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 it is keep on it is infinite times it will come 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 in the fraction so don't continue here so write 1 b a c dot f 3 3 3 3 3 3 you can write like this so this is how to convert if they give full number it is easy if they give fraction number say i will convert this one within a fraction of second because you cannot remember if you want to do manually division it will take lot of time so full part you divide i can do the conversion using uh, decimal number eight nine four eight six seven is equal to write hexadecimal in hexadecimal it should be d a seven nine three 13 is d 13 is 13 is d so in the rough work in the last page you have to write this table first 1 2 3 4 9 after 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 is from 10 it is capital a b c d e f if you miss this uh, you are going to lose marks okay so better you write this table in the rough page so this part you are going to get answer directly da793 13 is 13 is d a means 10 7 9 3 and fraction part you have to multiply by 16 and here you can see 5 you have to write as it is 14 means e don't write 1 4 5 1 4 is wrong so for each multiplication you have to write one one unique representation five instead of 14 e next to three and stop there only don't continue so this is how to convert decimal to hexadecimal number system